driven by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. So this is a real thing that happened. College football just outdoing itself again last night. Miami facing Duke, final play of the game. And we have got Cal Stanford 1982 all over again. Eight laterals. Eight laterals. A play that started at the 26-yard line goes all the way back to the three. 49 seconds later, Corn Elder would find the end zone. Hurricanes beat Duke 30-27, had controversy too. Officials reviewed the play for nine minutes, picking up a flag for a block in the back. Of course, I had time there to show you the AP Top 25. No change at the top. Your top five, Ohio State number one, Baylor two, Clemson three, LSU four, TCU five. He's still running. OSU remains number 12, OU 14, and there's Elder finally crossing the goal line. That officiating crew suspended two weeks for the way they handled it. Wow. Welcome into sports, everybody. November is here. Ten teams remain undefeated in college football, and the OSU Cowboys remain one of them. A West Texas shootout yesterday in Lubbock. Trailing 38-28 at the half, the Cowboys take control down the stretch. Their offense did it. Outscoring Texas Tech 42-15, going on to win 70-53. Most points ever allowed by the Red Raiders at home. Going back to last season, OSU has now won 10 in a row. The defense did the heavy lifting early this year, but in case of a shootout, well, this Cowboys offense appears ready, willing, and able. Well, that didn't occur during the first half. We knew it all week that you know that they're a very good offense. But you know, you, you just stay with the game plan. Our our, our players deserve a lot of credit for uh, staying the course and being confident in themselves and just keep on playing. They did a great job of listening and staying calm. Uh, they, they cleared their mind, and uh, they were able to absorb the information and then come out and play well in the second half. Oh, well, you know, Gundy always tells us never get down, stay calm, and just keep doing what we're taught to do. And never once did I see panic in my teammates' eyes. Uh, we just got to stay calm and, and execute. I like when the kids rock the backwards hat like I used to back in the 90s. Big day for James Washington in a West Texas homecoming. He goes for 200 total yards and two long fourth quarter touchdowns to put this thing out of reach. It was a big uh, motivator for me, uh, you know, just because I want to put on the show on for my, my hometown. And, you know, it's, when you play in front of your home crowd, it, it just gives you that, that boost of, like, spirit and momentum. You got to keep it rolling. Well, it's about to get real and fun. What a ball game next week in Stillwater. Undefeated OSU, undefeated TCU. It'll start at 2.30 Saturday. The Sooners continue to roll. OU dominating Kansas 62 to 7. Apparently, this team has learned its lesson. After falling to Texas in the Cotton Bowl, the Sooners have now outscored its last three opponents by an average score of 60 to 11. Yeah, I mean, our, our mentality definitely is different. There, there's no question. We've, we've grown. Uh, we've gotten a lot better from that. We learned a lot about ourselves in that game of, you know, what we need to do, you know, kind of where our sweet spot is a little bit. And um, it's been fun to see the results. Three weeks, and uh, we, we're keeping that edge. We're rolling. We just keep rolling game after game. We just got to keep it going, keep doing what we're doing in practice. And Saturday, you know, before the game to, to, you know, to have a, a performance like that. And I'm really proud of everybody. You know, what do we have to do to be better this week, regardless of who we're playing? And, and our guys practiced hard, came out here and, and played hard and played in a better way. Themselves up to allowing and what a cool moment this was. Fourth quarter, Trevor Knight throwing a touchdown pass for his brother, Connor Knight. Oh, it's awesome. You know, we haven't done that since senior year of high school, so it's been about four years. So it's been a long time coming, but it was exciting. Up next, Iowa State. Those Cyclones with a huge win last night, shutting out Texas 24-0, and a tease for the rant tonight. Of course, we do the rant at halftime of Sunday Night Football. We'll have video of Bob Stoops wearing a Yoda mask and dancing in the locker room. So that'll be fun. <laughs> Tulsa football picking up its first conference victory of the season, defeating SMU 40-31. The Golden Hurricane now two wins from bowl eligibility. Not that Philip Montgomery's counting or anything. Uh, the fourth win is huge. Um, we got we got to enjoy this one because every win is good, just like every loss is bad. And so then we got to go find a way to get two more. Well, we just knew uh, this this was a big game for us this uh, for the rest of the season, uh, determining if we go to a ball game or not. So, uh, you know, we knew we had to pick it up. Jinx native Zach Langer, three touchdowns, all of them on either third or fourth and goal. Well, I mean, there's actually uh, quite a bit of pressure. You go in there in fourth and one, and you just got to, you have one yard to get, you got to get it no matter what. There's not a hole, 
make a hole. So it's just there's pressure there, but uh, I feel pretty confident just with that offensive line and just what they do, just to be able to get that one yard or two yards or whatever it may be. Up next, winless Central Florida. That game Saturday, 11 a.m. Virginia Tech's Frank Beamer is going to retire at the end of the season. Beamer College football's winningest active coach, 235 victories in 29 years with the Hokies. More after this.